I'm Bob from Jan's Netcraft Fishing Tackle. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make an inline spinner. No matter what species of fish you're after, an inline spinner has a place in your tackle box. So let's get started by going over the parts you'll need. Start with a closed eye stainless steel wire shaft. Spinner blades provide lift, flash, and vibration. Lure bodies are available in a variety of styles. A clevis is used to attach the spinner blade to the wire shaft. Metal beads are installed on both ends of a clevis. Treble hooks are used on most inline spinners, but single hooks can be used if preferred. You will need a pair of pliers to bend your wire. We recommend round bend, although needle nose will work. So let's get started assembling our inline spinner. We'll use a closed eye wire shaft, a hollow metal bead, a clevis and spinner blade, and a second hollow metal bead. The hollow metal beads act as a bearing surface for the spinner blade to ride on. When installing the spinner blade, be sure that the cup side is facing down towards the wire shaft. At this point, we can now install our lure body. Our lure, bo our lure body adds weight to the spinner. Holding the lure upside down, we're now ready to make our first bend. Using round nose pliers, we'll grab the wire about one inch from the lure body and make a U-shaped bend. With that bend complete, we can use those round nose pliers, take our tag end of our wire, bend it over on a 90 degree angle so that it crosses the main wire shaft. With that bend complete, we're now ready to install our treble hook. For our treble hook, we'll use a small piece of vinyl tubing to dress it for color. We'll slide our treble hook on our partially formed loop. grab that loop with our round nose pliers. We'll take our tag end of our wire and wrap it two times around our main shaft. With the wrap complete, we can now trim off our tag end as close to the main wire shaft as we can. The next thing is to go ahead and straighten up that loop, make it in line with the main wire shaft. And there you have it, a completed inline spinner ready to go fishing. All of the tools and parts used in this video are available at www.jansnetcraft.com or you can request our parts catalog by contacting us at 1-800-NETCRAFT.